Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are for what's most likely to be the penultimate episode and yep, yeah, I've mentioned for a while we want to do a bit of forestry, so what I've got done is I've returned the bunger we had and I got a rotten tree harvester. And what I'm gonna be doing is those up with some logs and we're gonna take this all the way over to our old production area. And that's because I want to use this. This is part of the Backyard Woodshop Sheds. So if you look at our production, and from this we need to make planks, we need to make net, well not nails, wood beams, empty pallets, and all sorts of stuff, because yeah, the goal is going to be produce fence panels, workbenches, and some small sheds. So yeah, of course wood, both going into here to make, make planks, we've also got a, our own sawmill. Um, over here, so go to our build mode, and it's just over across. So, because yeah, I think we purchased this a while ago. So, yeah, we'll put wood in both, get planks, and then from there, just set it to distribute. Ah, uh, should be golden. And uh, yeah, we'll get some nails in later on, but for now, we need to start chopping some wood down. And off camera, I did chop down some trees, only like this a handful of trees. So we go, go and grab those. And yeah, hopefully this should be not too long to fit. Uh, looks like this should be fine. But yeah, of course, we'll replant some of these trees. And to be honest, we've got our own forestry growing at the moment. It's just that our trees that we planted a while ago aren't ready, so we're subsidising that from these trees here. And would probably help if we actually have this on a bit more of a leveled ground rather than issue on an angle like that. So, yeah, I've parked this somewhere over here. And yeah, also we've got the little subgrown machine over there. So, once we're done with this, we can literally just go poof. I get rid of off some of these stumps and that gives us room to plant more trees. But yeah, I need to make sure. Yeah, six meter logs. That is perfect for us. Yeah, twenty-five meter trees. Perfect. There we go. Just get it attached. And we'll cut. Go. So yeah, that's gonna come down. And yep, we'll just boom out. Six meter logs. And yeah. We're just gonna keep on doing this till we get a full trail load. So yeah, if we can get two trail loads going to both sort mills, I'll be happy with that. So yeah. We're gonna get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. And there we go, yeah, we've got our first trio load here, and yeah, that's overall, that ain't too bad. Small enough to train that, suit the roads and that, so, I think, yeah, if you do, ooh, there we go, mind the little turbulation there, so yeah, I'm going to get it sent over, and this will go into the first sawmill, the one that we owned initially and that, so, that then will get produced planks. And from there, I'll get distributed over. Nails and that. Oh, and you're right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, this tray is very tippy toppy, especially. Not to say it's overloaded. Okay, I admit, yeah, more heavy logs are on top, but. Yeah, twice now that's tipped over and took a while to recover that. But, yeah, so we've got nails ready to be sent over. And then. Yeah, so this is a weird ratio because when you first like, look at this, it does look quite all like the ratios and that. But you get like sheds and that, they're point 0.1. Each shed is worth one liter, so yeah, overall it's not going to be too bad. But yeah, I think once we get all this cracking on and going, we should be set up. Yeah, we've got a combine here ready, so that in the next episode, which, yep, yeah, thinking about it, it's going to be the final episode, where we're going to harvest our soybeans, 
I think I'm not sure I think I think it's just soybeans left to harvest, right? Look how our crops are now. We got our soybean fields. Oh yeah, and our alfalfa to deal with. But apart from that, my hand, yeah, we've come a long way. Starting off as just a little contractor, we started all the way over here. This little area here is all we started off with. And then from there, we just grew and expanded. We got almost 70 episodes now, and... Yeah, well, the... Yeah, I get it. Viewership is going down on that. I do have plans for... Another Let's Play series after I finish this. Maybe an American map. So yeah, I was playing on, of course, everything ready. Till I got removed from the mod hub for last gen console because of multiple reports of game crashes, but as far as I can tell, I don't really like public reports I've seen is on Facebook groups and Yeah, that's always hit me when it comes to Facebook and that. Yeah, it's just oh, what's the word? Dignified the uh, civil in that in terms of the community on Facebook compared to Discord and that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's down to all the individual groups and that, here and there, but, yeah, overall, yeah, Facebook has been more of a wild area for the FS community. So you can put wood in here. I'm going to do it at the faster production rate of over here. So yeah, I'm just trying to be careful in that. Mind you. All we need to go is just over here. There we go. Like so. And yeah, boom. That's all the logs gone in. And that is almost 25,000 litres. So yeah, that is enough logs for the time being because we're producing at a rate of using 7,000 litres a month. So that's three months worth of wood there. Next, and I will fill up the other sawmill, and then we'll get the nails. And all right, there we go. So yeah, we've got a second load over. Now we're just taking our nails over. Did purchase some planks, get things kicking off. Also, I grabbed a tree was on the way over here. Yeah, that part was not intentional, but anywho, let's go and get these filled up. So let's go. Move this out of the way a sec. There we go. So, yeah, first of all, I was going to dump this tree in out of the way. So, obviously, got more than enough wood well, logs for this because this is a very slow cycle. Actually, I'm just trying to find that trigger point. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, now we need to figure out where everything is going. I think for now, honestly, it doesn't really matter. So, that's on the way. That's good. I'm thinking I need empty pallets and that first of all, so I'm going to say, so it's that one there, that we need to put our stuff in. So alrighty then, inputs are here, oh, dang it, getting caught with those nails again. Oh yeah, also I don't think we can put our uh, planks in here because I had issues with this during the mod testing of it, but anywho, so I'll have a little look anyway, so give it a crack. And yeah, let me just get this all in set because this has not gone to plan. So yeah, 10,000 nails. Yeah, the planks aren't being accepted, so that is lovely as always. Dang it. So yeah, planks will be distributed to that one. Thinking everything else needs to go in this one here. At least we can get planked into this one here. So we have a look now. Yeah, 4,000 years of pallets. Planks are getting distributed. So, yeah, essentially now everything's underway. That's kicking off. So it's going to take a little while for it to all properly get cracking on. So, I think what? Screw it, I'm going to purchase more planks, get that filled up. 
And yeah, we've gone a bit overboard because you have like 48,000 years and else. And we only needed like half of that, so whoopsie. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna leave you there for that to be consumed, as I'm only needing else. Now I've got some FPS back, that's why I kept on those sort of little jump cuts because. Yeah, this does get quite intense when it comes to tanking the FPS, so... But yeah, what I'm going to do now is... I'm just going to let this run, get some more planks over... And then we'll see, perhaps in September, of where we stand. I would say overall, that wasn't too bad, so we're in September now. September 2nd, and yeah, we got four sheds nicely stacked up. Got a few fence panels and got a fair few of workbenches. Fortunately, we've hit the pallet limit, so we produced four pallets of sheds, 15 pallets of workbenches, and 100, sorry, 18 pallets of fence panels. And if we look at our production, we still got another 419 litres of workbenches, so that is another 419 pallets to spawn. And there were 25 pallets of fence panels, so I think, yeah, we're going to set those to sell because that's going to take forever to do, especially the workbenches. But yeah, so we've got a fair bit here. And I think it's the fence panels are worth the most, like, for the sheds. Because, yeah, we got four litres of sheds, so let's look at the prices, so... Sheds on their own. Per thousand litres are worth 20 million. However, we've even got four, four litres, so that's 4% of that. So that is about, yeah, 20 grand. So four litres is 80 grand. The fence panels, we've got 180 litres. So that on its own is about 170,000. Yeah, not too bad actually. So we should get about. Ooh, 305,000 for defense panels alone, so we're from this, so now let's go to sell everything container, because it's the average best price for everything. Now let's see how much profit we can get. And there we go, as we are approaching. Yeah, I think we're not going to be able to sell everything in one go, but I'll give it a shot in May, it just depends on how we get that turning angle in. But yeah, remember, on forecast we're going to get about 160, 468, 470 grand from this, so already that's 125. That's another 150. So it's 270, 280. Plus another 76. We've still got some more fence panels. Come on, flash back, there's up. There we go, that's why I hate swivel axles. So, yeah, that is yeah, about 400 grand or so. I don't know what, screw it. There we go, that is everything sold. And now, what I'm going to do with the production is I've set the planks to sell. So, I'm just going to let this run out, and when we run out, we just run out. So. I may supply more nails to keep this going until we're out of planks, but besides from that, let's go and yeah, we'll set you to sell. You to sell, and we'll keep on storing these sheds. So now that money should take a massive jump up. 20.9 mil to 25 and a half mil. Yeah, that was a lot of fence panels we had, so. Yeah, because it was that profitable, but guessing that was a shed tastic idea I had, so I'm going to keep this for now, because we need to sell some more sheds. And yeah, we may resume in the end of October or end of October, because we got the soybeans to do. And soybeans can be harvested until end of October. Yep, yeah, end of October. And from there, we need to transport the soybeans to here to get soybean oil. Actually, we need to make soybean oil, do we? I don't have an oil plant. But with soybeans, we can't get D 
diesel. Because, yeah, we've got a lot of ethanol when you sell for the community. And the sorghum mill. Of course, that is for the community. My wife, that's not for us. So, we'll deal with that in the next episode. The final episode of the series. And then, yeah. on I think... That's pretty much everything. Like, yep, yeah, I'd love to keep the series going. But, it's getting to the point where, I admit... We are doing the same things over and over again. But the main ways I can change the difficulty, that ain't a problem to keep the series going and that. But yeah, I think we need to start looking at the wider prospects, so... Yeah, I've got a few ideas on where we're going to go next. Initially I was thinking of an American map. But then again, I'm looking at comparing countryside by Mr. Hector and that. Like, a lot, of his, a lot of his stuff on this map has to be coming out as mods. Like the orchards and that, because they, they, the orchards, that'd be good for here and that, especially around this area here. I'm gonna put some orchards down. But we'll save that for my next series. Yep, Evergreen Valley, that's on hold until if, when that map gets an update, which may do, may not. And even then, if it does, it's not saying it's gonna be back on the mod hub for the last gen console, so. I'm going to continue on with Ravenport. I am going to change things up with Ravenport to speed up progress of the challenge. But besides from that, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. With Vincent Survival, I'm just going to keep on going how it is for the time being. May change things up with that, but again, at the end of the day, it really depends, like, towards with maps and that. Like, I know as of recording this on Tuesday the 9th, there's the announcement of the production DLC. Whether or not I'll buy that, I don't know. But yeah, just like looking at the DLC itself. Yeah, it's, like it's very close to what we've got ready. Things like the Logistic Hub, we've got that one that what we're using on here. Like, the Logistics Hub, we've got that. We've already got the farm productions mod on mod hub by Mrs. Umatana. I've used that on uh what was it? So Yeah, come to the point where is it worth it? Yeah, there's only like seven ninety nine in dollar or in pounds and euros and equivalent whatever the conversion is for the your local currency, but But yes. Yeah, not sure. Why not I'll purchase it? I'm not sure. Wait on for more details, so if we get more details. Just with what we're provided at the moment. Yeah, I'm thinking. Ugh, yeah, I'm not sure on that. But, anyways. That is where we come to the end of the episode, so yeah. I will keep on producing sheds, and next I will produce more sheds now, and we'll sell whatever we have. So yeah, I'm thinking October 2nd, second week of October. So I let this progress and run for another month. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you nice day. But for now, just be far from Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.